In this video, we're going to look at the Poisson approximation to the binomial distribution. Let's first look at what is the Poisson distribution. In, the, in this distribution, we're dealing with a random variable x that can take on non-negative integers. Non-negative integers being 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So we're dealing with a discrete random variable um, the values can go from 0 to infinity. Now the random variable we say is Poisson distributed, distributed if it has this following distribution function and we're dealing with discrete, distrib uh, discrete random variables so the distribution function f will be equal to the probability that x is equal to k, k being one of those non-negative integer values and, we, and for the Poisson distribution we have a parameter called lambda, uh, the Greek letter lambda. And so the function is a function of k with a parameter lambda. And so it'll be equal to the, the value of lambda raised to the power of k times e or raised to the power of minus lambda all over k factorial. And the stipulation is, is that lambda must be greater than zero. It can't be zero or a negative value. Now, interesting properties for this distribution function are that the mean of the distribution or mean of the random variable is equal to lambda and also the variance sigma squared is also equal to lambda. Alright, so I plotted some Poisson distributions here the I only went from 0 to 15 on all of these. Remember we're dealing with a discrete random variable. 0 to 15, but I changed lambda for each of these. So on the first one, lambda is equal to 1. Second one is equal to 3, 5, and then 7. And notice how that for small values the distribution gets concentrated more at 0 or more towards 0. And then as the values get bigger they start spreading out and the peak ends up moving away from zero. Now how do we use the Poisson distribution to approximate the binomial distribution? Well we're not going to show this but it can be shown that um, if we have the following situation where we're dealing with now again we're looking at the binomial a case where we have a binomial or a Bernoulli trial with n trials. We have uh, we know what p is. p would be the probability of success. And so, we if we have the situation where n, the number of trials is large, and p, the probability of success is fairly small, and we also have that n times p is on on the order of one. Not doesn't be exactly one or right at one, but um, close to 1. Then if we let lambda equal to n times p, lambda for the uh, Poisson distribution, then the binomial distribution function can be approximated by the Poisson distribution. And so we see that here's our binomial distribution and here's just the definition that we had before of our Poisson distribution. So if we have a binomial distribution it meets these three properties or situation and we set lambda equal to NP we can use the Poisson distribution. Now the what do we mean by N large and P small? Well um, we this doesn't have to be exact but uh, one of the references the reference for the class that I teach uses 50 as a limit for n, so n would be greater than, or greater than or equal to 50, and p would have to be small enough such that n times p is less than 5. Alright, so let's look at one example. I plotted the next to each other the binomial distribution in blue and the Poisson distribution in red, and I used p the probability of success is 1 50th. The number of trials was 100 and therefore setting lambda equal to n times p we get 2. 
and so you can see it's it's pretty close to they're pretty close to each other some some places more than others you can see here we have the Poisson is a little bit bigger than the binomial here at one they're about the same but here we have the binomials a little bit bigger than the Poisson and so on but so you can see it's it's pretty close you know for that situation I didn't write down the exact values for those I don't think it's really important how far off they are but that we see that you know on the plot that they're fairly close to each other all right so let's look at an example of using the Poisson to approximate the binomial and the reason we would want to do that approximation is it's kind of difficult sometimes to because of the large number n to calculate the binomial coefficients and so using the Poisson distribution uh, prevents us from having to do that alright so here we we kind of a, si a sad situation here I went to the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs website and on there they have the um, uh, the mortality rate for children and the, the fr one of the parameters that they give is the average number of children that die before the age of one and so I looked up in 2005 to 2010 this average was about 6.81 per 1,000 births uh, so it's uh, you know a lot bigger than you would actually think but um, but anyway um, there are other nations that have smaller numbers much smaller numbers Singapore for instance um, but others that have much larger than this all right so let's suppose we have a hospital that has 215 births that occur you know over it doesn't really matter what what period of time because we're, we're gonna look at what is the probability that three or more of those children will die before their first birthday so we're each of them we're dealing with one year um, so we want to know what's the probability that three or more will die before their first birthday okay so this is a we'll assume that they're not that the that they're not um, related um, in terms of the the death occurring that they're independent and so each each child we can consider a Bernoulli trial and the probability of death in this case again it's kind of morbid to think of a success as being death but since we're asking about death that's what we'll assume is the that we'll use for P so P the probability of success will be 6.81 divided by a thousand that's the probability of each individual um, child dying before they are age one now since we're dealing with this particular hospital the number of children born there is 215 so we have the situation where P is real small n is large and if we multiply n times P we get approximately 1.4641 and so that's on the order of 1 and so we'll set lambda equal to that n times P which is equal to 1.4641 now the, pro the question asks what's the probability of having three or more die before their first birthday so we want to know what's the probability that the random variable will be greater than or equal to three we'll, we'll calculate this by using the property that this is equal to one minus a, the random variable will, will be less than three and so I'll calculate that that part first probability that X is less than three since we're dealing with a discrete random variable we have pro this will be equal to the probability of x is equal to zero plus x equals one plus x equals two now I already defined what lambda was so I just wrote down each of those probabilities in terms of lambda so lambda to the zero e to the minus lambda over zero factorial and so on this one is for one this one is for two I calculated those values you can see what they are here and I summed them all up and got 0.8179 and so subtracting that from one we get the probability that three or more children will die die before their first birthday which is 0.1822 <clears throat> or 18.22 percent which is, seems kinda like a high number um, out of those 215 
it's 18 percent probability that three or more will die before their first birthday now I wrote the or I plotted the Poisson distribution function for that particular lambda nothing really um, important about it but to, to get an idea of what the Poisson distribution function looks like and I only plotted it out to 10 and so you can see the the first three numbers were the ones that we cal um, we added together um, probability of 0, 1, and 2 and that's those, those three values there.